All right, hi guys, it's Josh with Lion Bug Organics. Uh, today we're going to be talking about citronella. It's one of the plants that we grow here in the greenhouse. Uh, today we'll be um, showing you how to um, cut and propagate the citronella from the mature plants and making uh, you know your own small little plants and growing into uh, something that looks large like this. All right, so a couple of facts before we get into the propagation. Uh, a couple of common names of the citronella plant is Centidranium and mosquito plant. So this plant does naturally uh, repel mosquitoes um, because of the citronella oil within the plant. Um, it's a drought tolerant plant, so it doesn't require a lot of water. Um, it can take full sun to part shade. Um, it gets about two feet tall and two feet wide in diameter. Uh, it creates a, um, a small pink flower. All right, so it also can be um, planted um, as a patio plant, so in a pot or in the ground. Um, a lot of people do it in the pot um, to have it in the patio so they can move it around. And um, to naturally get the fragrance out, you can ruffle it around a little bit and get the fragrance going to repel the mosquitoes or you can uh, pop off uh, the leaf and, and uh, rub it on your skin and that will um, help keep the mosquitoes away. All right, so when you're looking for um, a piece of citronella to propagate, you wanna look for a stem like this where it's about a quarter inch in um, diameter and you want at least six inches of um, the stem to be able to cut. Um, so this is a great piece right here also because of all the nodes that it has. So the nodes are the uh, sections where it has all the uh, stems coming out um, because we're going to end up taking those off. All right, so for the purpose of this video, we're going to take about um, nine cuttings, but typically on this size of a plant, which is in a 10 gallon pot, it can uh, do about three trays, um, which is about 48 cuttings. So um, one plant can produce quite a bit and um, with the right weather conditions and everything, um, with the right temperatures, um, it can grow back to that size in about uh, four months. So you can take about 50 cuttings every four months, so it's quite a bit of cutting. All right, so some of these cuttings are perfect and then some of them are not. So cutting just like that and we can maybe get two, um, two cuttings off of this one stem. Um, another spot you wanna look for is the ones that are kinda of hanging down. Um, just so you can clean up the plant. So just getting it kind of at the base and cutting it right here. All right, and that should be plenty. All right. All right, so today we're going to be um, propagating the citronella in these uh, four inch pots right here. The soil is the uh, Lambert uh, LMGPS, uh, which is great for um, doing plugs and uh, seed starting. All right, so now we're gonna start the cutting. So like I said, we're gonna do about six inches or so. So about right here. And then you can either um, cut these off, the leaves off, or you can just pop them off like so. Um, so you want a couple leaves uh, at the top. So just keep popping them off and then you can take off these larger ones right here. Uh, so this will be just enough uh, for the plant to start rooting. Um, just leave a couple of leaves, uh, the smaller leaves, uh, so that way you can have enough energy. All right, so here's a couple more uh, cuttings that we need to do, uh, just to give you an example. So this is uh, perfect to cut about right in half, so we'll cut it right in half. Right there is perfect. Then, um, to make it easier, we're going to pull these off. So this is where the roots are going to grow, right here. And you can take off some of these larger leaves, so that way it doesn't spend so much energy um, trying to keep those alive and focus on the roots. And there it is. Okay. So here's one more. Same thing. Take these off. that and perfect all right so as you can see we have all of our cuttings here 
and we have a big pile of uh, leftover leaves and, and stems. Uh, so this doesn't go to waste. You can uh, keep this and extract the uh, citronella oil out of it um, to make your candles or, or whatnot. So now we're going to start the planting process, which is uh, very simple and straightforward. You just want to make sure the leaves are uh, you know upright and um, the area that we took the, um, the stems and leaves off the nodes is facing down. So you want to make sure you have as many of these nodes in the soil as possible. So we're going to start sticking these in there, just like that. Let's see. Let's, we have one extra. All right, and just like that. So now that they're planted, um, all we have to do is uh, just give it a light water so that way um, the soil's um, contacting the stem as much as possible to promote the root growth. And in about um, one to three weeks, you'll start seeing uh, roots develop, uh, just depending on the uh, temperature. So right here, we have the ones that we just planted that still need to get watered. Uh, these guys right here are about, um, one week old and these guys right here are about three weeks this one in the one gallon that i've already transplanted to the one gallon is about uh four months old and these guys right here would be the parent plants which are about two years old that started off just this size two years ago um in this 10 gallon pot uh it looks very small right now but i've taken a lot of cuttings off of it but in about two years um, you know, I've taken over a hundred cuttings off of that one plant, so it produces quite a bit, uh, pretty fast. All right. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys liked the video and, um, and learned something. Um, so please give a like and, uh, subscribe. Thank you.